What do you learn about human nature if we step back and look at the big picture of it? That slavery has been a part of human civilization for thousands of years. That this American slavery is not a new phenomenon. I think history teaches us a very pessimistic and a very optimistic lesson. The pessimistic lesson is that human beings are capable of doing enormous harm and brutality to their fellow man and woman. And we see that with genocide in our world today. That human beings are capable with the right stimuli, the right um, incentives of, of, of enslaving others. I mean, genocide is in the same category, right? Uh, the optimistic side, is that human beings are also capable with proper leadership and governance of resisting those urges, of putting those energies into productive uses for other people. But I don't think that comes naturally. I think that's where leadership and institutions matter. But leadership and institutions can tame us. We can tame, we can civilize ourselves. You know, for a long time we stopped using that verb to civilize. I believe in civilization. I believe there's a civilizing role. Lincoln spoke of that, right? So did Franklin Roosevelt, the civilizing role that government plays. Education is only a part of that. It's creating laws, minimal laws, but laws nonetheless that incentivize and penalize us for going to the dark side. But if we allow that to happen, or we have leaders who encourage us to go to the dark side, we can very quickly go down a, a deep, dark tunnel. See, I believe that most people want to do good. And the power of institutions, if done well, they encourage and protect you if you want to do good. So if you're just in the jungle, the so game, from a game theoretic perspective, you get punished for, for doing good. So being extremely self-centered and greedy and even violent and manipulative can have, from a game theory perspective, uh, benefits. But I don't think that's what most humans want. Uh, institutions allow you to do what you actually want, which is to uh, do good for the world, do good for others, and actually in so doing, do good for yourself. Institutions protect that natural human instinct, I think. And, and what you just articulated, which I think the historical record is very strong on, is the classic liberal position. That's what liberalism means in a 19th century sense, right? Mm -hmm. That you believe in civilizing human beings through institutions, that begins with education. Kindergarten is an institution. Laws, uh, and, and just basic habits that are enforced by society.